Hey guys, it's me Astrid and I wanted to show you today um, the next part of my repotting of my orchid haul, the uh, Paphiopetalum Magic Lantern. Have a look at this foliage. It is so spectacular. Let's look at the undersides of these leaves. They're just fantastic. And the blooms are great. And I'll put a picture right here if you, uh, if I can find one that has uh, open, re open reposting allowed, fair use or whatever. So let's get started. First thing is we're gonna just go ahead and open this. It went through, I think, an airport today because the guy speaking to us came from Utah. Okay, so here we have it. Now this orchid is potted pretty high up in the pot for a Paphiopetalum. Um, normally they need to be potted lower down. These roots are exposed. That said, the guy who sold this to me grows them in tanks. Um, his name is Chicago Chad, and he has all kinds of information about growing orchids in tanks so you can grow really picky species. Um, without having too much of a fight and without having too much expense and without using up too much space. So there's that. Now um, let's get to repotting. All right, so we got the leftovers for my last repot video. <clears throat> and we're just gonna squeeze the sides of this pot and pull this orchid on out. I don't wanna use this pot again um, because I don't like dark pots. I like clear pots. And we're just gonna go ahead and uh, free these roots. Gosh, it's got a pretty substantial root system. That's great. Okay, so here's the roots. Paphiopetalums are semi-terrestrial, so their roots look different than most of your other orchids. The growth tips are typically white, like this. That's good to see um, at least one good growing tip. Not seeing any others, but the one the one is good for me. Um, people say paths don't typically get big root balls, but this is pretty sizable, I'd say. And um, these orchids do get little, little fuzzy roots. You see that? That's not mold. That's just the root. That's just the way that it is. So focus on that camera. Isn't that cute? It's so soft. And I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this in the sink. So here's the roots before. Here are the roots after. So they're a lot cleaner, they're a lot wetter, and um, they're, they're looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this with hydrogen peroxide. Though if any chemists are watching, I want you to know that I understand that this will probably be diluted hydrogen peroxide because I'm spraying wet onto wet, but that's okay with me. That's okay with me. <laughs> and also, spraying this with hydrogen peroxide, as far as I'm concerned, is like wishful plant voodoo. I don't know any definite benefits to doing it, but I don't know any detriments either. Let's listen to that crackling. Can you hear that? Can you hear it? Pretty cool, huh? So now I want to go ahead and pot this up. I have this pot. It might be a bit small for this plant, but we're just going to go ahead and um, put it in here because I don't, I don't see why not. And um, what's the best way to go about this? Well, we've got our wet sphagnum moss in a cup already soaked up some water, so this path is definitely going to go into a nice wet environment. I'm going to get down here again. Haha, <laughs> this is so much better. Hey guys. Okay. So we're going to just put a little layer of moss down on the bottom to start. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this plant in here. We're going to go ahead and um, push this plant down so it's potted down low. You want to get moss up to the base of the plant. I was told if you do not get moss up to the base of paphiopetalums when the new roots come out, they will desiccate and they will die and then your plant won't have good growth. Now, I'm only telling you what other people have told me. I urge you to go out and check the information for yourself. In the words of Reading Rainbow, don't take my word for it, 
I think I made that joke in another video already. No, Honas made that joke in another video already. Not me. Not me. I would never make the same joke twice. Making the same joke twice is for college professors. JK, you make the same joke like a thousand million times. So I'm kind of packing the sphagnum moss pretty tightly. I don't, I don't want to leave any room for issue. I'm also going to separate out some long strands because I'm going to take a little, a little note out of the uh, Neo Phoenicia Falcata book and put this kind of in a moss mound. So I need to separate out some long fibers for that. So what we're going to do with the long fibers is we are going to kind of tuck them around the side of the pot so that it holds the moss down and it puts this on a mound. It keeps the base moistened, which is what we want. And, uh, and the path will be happy and hydrated, hopefully. Was that alliteration or what, you guys? Or what? Yes, so... Paths are also really slow growing, so I don't have to worry too much about um, having this potted and losing room in the pot because you do have to repot paths every two years without fail. That's what the people in the Orchid Society were harping on me about. And I'm going to take their word for it. They've been growing paths a long time um, and with success, most importantly. So, yes, we got to keep got to keep them repotted. And with sphagnum moss, really everyone tells me you can only kind of keep it in sphagnum moss for, you know, a couple years before it goes bad. So if it gets a new fan right here, it's going to have room for that new fan, maybe another new fan, and then it'll be time to repot anyway. And by then, maybe I'll be able to afford nice pots. So I'm just taking these long strands of moss, and I'm kind of, um, bringing them around the base of the plant and just tucking them in the sides because I, I hope that that will help it to keep the moss down and wrapped around. Now maybe you guys have no idea what I'm talking about because you don't really, it's not conveying on film, but for me it makes sense. Hopefully yeah. it will stay hydrated enough. If not, I will put some tape over these holes or something so it doesn't dry out. But I mean, here you go. Here's the finished path. And I really, really hope I can get this to bloom. I've really admired Path Magic Lantern for a long time. Um, I don't know if this moss is packed too tightly, but I grow all my paths, all two of them, in sphagnum moss, and they do really well. And so I'm going to keep this one in sphagnum moss too, and I'm going to keep it clustered with the other ones so we keep the humidity contained. That's what we want. Also, listen to these leaves. Isn't that nice? Maybe that's my ASMR side coming out. Maybe I need to make a new ASMR video. But anyway, this is a repotted pap in sphagnum moss. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope it grows nicely for me. I'm really crossing my fingers, guys. Have a good day. Happy growing. Bye-bye.